guys, excuse my hair. I'm about to do a, another tutorial, like a hair tutorial on how to style hair when it's looking like, you know, third day crap kind of thing. So that's why it's not done yet. I've got to do my makeup first. So you guys know how I got sent some stuff from LJ, I think it's called, LJ or something like that, dot com. I thought instead of just doing like a review talking about the products that I would review them as I put them on my face, I thought it was a better idea. What do you guys think? Um, so I'm doing a face of the day chit chat video and I'm not just going to use the products they sent but I've tried out everything and one of the things I don't like so I'm not even going to show it but the rest of them I want to show you in action so let's get started I'm going to start putting links down below every time I mention the products that I get online this is the triple the solution BB cream by Leo Ali I use it every single day and I think I do actually like this one better than that pink one now the Skin Spinny 9 one. I love this. I think it's amazing underneath foundation or like alone and under foundation. But yeah, I've been using it underneath foundation because it's a really good primer, number one, and number two, it's a bit too pale for me, so I like to just add some foundation. Plus, I love the look of like full coverage foundation, like flawless skin, and it doesn't make me look cakey. There's a difference between full coverage and cakey. Um, and this just like gives a really good base and it doesn't look flaky or thick or anything it just covers your skin but your skin still looks like skin like I might zoom up my face just quickly once this is rubbed in and show you how like the coverage is really really good but my skin still looks like skin like I said so you can see still looks like skin using my Sedona Lace Angled brush with MAC Studios Fix Fluid in NC20. <clears throat> Am I in focus? This also means <clears throat> I can use less of this foundation because this is way more expensive. So, another bonus. Just buffered it in. Okay, so now I'm going to use the powder that they sent me. It's that Tony Moly Ooh, I got brand and it's all in Korean and it's called the Luminous Face Perfume Powder. Don't like the scent of this, but I really like the finish I get. So show you this. Comes in a little thing like this and mine is everywhere because it gets shaken up. So I just take my Sedona Lace Kabuki brush and pat some in and tap it off because otherwise you get tons and it kind of gives you a white cast this is a number two I don't know if it's too pale for me or what but I like it I didn't put on concealer I don't really think I need mm. I'll just put on a little bit this is my derma blend Putting it over my eyes first to set my concealer. I think I still prefer pressed powders, but I do like this. I like the finish it gives me, but it's just harder to use in my opinion because it flies everywhere and it's just like all over the place. And I always get it all over my clothes. But if you're a fan of loose powders in the first place, then try this one out. Unless you've got really sensitive skin and you're sensitive to perfumed products, then don't. Because it smells like... It reminds me of um, those perfume like powders. Like, that you get in those little sets and things. That's what it smells like. Okay, I'm going to go to my contouring slash bronzing using my Bourjois as per norm. Because it's my fave. And this is my Sedona Lace FBO3. I am in love with Sedona Lace brushes. Um, I still can't decide what I like more out of Sigma and Sedona Lace. I think they're pretty much on par with each other. To be 100% honest. You know what I mean. And then just touch me. 
but I have this feeling like I want to whiten my teeth more but I look at them and they're so white but in some light they look yellow I think I'm just nuts okay and then I'm going to use the blush they sent me which is by the face shop and I like the face shop products I lived in Korea and I remember going to the shop when I was little and playing with all these samples and stuff um, this is called Lovely Cushion Blush Lasher. It looks like this and it comes with a little puff which is really really cute. And the idea is that you pat it in there and then pat it on your cheeks and I did do it. But it doesn't give the best application as you can imagine so I just use it with a br blush brush. But let me say I really do like this blush. It's such a nice colour. Um, it's a number one. When I put it on you'll be able to see it just gives the prettiest like glow it's like I'd say it's a pink blush it's got really fine shimmers in it but nothing intense it's more like a satin finish kind of goes really well with this pressed powder because it just makes your whole like face look really luminous it almost reminds me a bit of orgasm just less peachy. I don't know, like it gives the same effect on the face as the glitters. Except less glittery, like less chunky, more fine. It makes my face the same kind of glowy colour. I don't even know if I'm making sense. But I really like it and it goes on really smoothly as you can see. So I do like it and I'm gonna keep the cuff the cuff the puff anyway because it's cute. The packaging's cute. It reminds it's like those box products like benefit and everything okay whatever so okay the eyeshadows I didn't really like I wasn't a big fan of they are the Cleo art shadows and they're like baked shadows I think but they were just very very shimmery so I might put that into my professional kit to use on clients instead you know because some people suit slash like the shimmer but on me it was just a bit too much even though I like shimmery eyeshadows they were very shimmery I'm not a big fan of baked products on my eyes so I might just use what palette today. Might use my purple palette. If you want to know what colors, colors, colors are in this palette, then check out my Mac eyeshadow palette purple video. Um, I did a series where I explained what was in each one of my palettes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Flo first, which is one of my favorite eyeshadows, which I just realized I haven't used in a long time, and I'm not even gonna bother using a primer because. I'm going to redo my makeup tonight when I go out. I'm just putting on makeup so I can film my hair tutorial. Because I promised I'd do it. This colour is very similar to Virgin from the Naked Palette. Which is my favourite shade in the Naked Palette. So go for it. Then I'm going to take Shale. Which is this colour here. It's like a neutral purple on this brush here which is no named I think it's from Coastal Scents it's just like a pointy kind of blending brush my nose is so cold heaps of people ask why I'm dressing like it's summer still and it's because it's been really sunny here like some days it's been cold and if you watched my vlog I've been wearing big coats and things but other days it's like really mild here and um the sun's out and it's actually really really hot still like the sun's warm on us so Plus, when I'm just filming in my bedroom, I always wear clothes like this because I have like a little oil heater in my room. So yeah, just if you were wondering. It is getting colder though, definitely. Like at night time, it's freezing. Sitting there in my pyjamas and stuff. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to take the colour next to it, which is Memorabilia. This one here. I haven't used my MAC eyeshadows in so long. I think I might just put them into a Z palette because they're so much easier to access. I'm just going to put that into my crease on the outer part. And then I'm going to take Beautiful Iris on a big fluffy brush because I want a really nice light wash of colour over top of all the purples in my crease. This like makes everything just glow. It's such a pretty colour. And then I'm going to take Beauty Marked. One of my favourite eyeshadows too. 
because I want it to be nice and dark. I really need to clean my brushes. I swear like nearly all of my brushes are dirty. I'm taking Beauty Mac under my lash line. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going, I'm just gonna put the lipstick on now because it's bothering me. Um, this one here is called Lava Lipstick in White Pink and it's by Samsung Cosmetics, which I didn't know they did kiss me that's not a fan of the packaging I think it's so boring um, but the lipstick's pretty good it's really nice and creamy it's nothing amazing but the lipstick is really creamy and moisturizing so this is what the eyeshadow look like for reference but it's really pretty. Some people would love it. It's got good pigmentation. Like, there's the pink, dark grey, light grey. Like, it's really good. It's just not my thing, so. Okay, I can't find it, but you would have seen it. It looks like that. It's by Tony Moly. And it's like a greyish kind of colour. Hold on one second. Let me just focus. And I used it in my last Getting Ready tutorial. And I could not find it right now. So I'm going to have to use something else. But I love it. I think it's such a pretty colour. It's like a dark kind of grey kind of colour. Um, but I mean I'll be using it in so many videos to come. That you will see what it is. And if you want to see it in particular. Check my last Skinny Ready video for a link to the product. Blah blah blah. Okay I'm going to carry on. I need to find an eyeliner to use now. This is the last one I got off. Non Pro Boutique? Yeah, Non Pro Boutique. It's the um, next collection. I don't know how to say this word. Noir. Noir. Um, that's what it is. And I reckon it works like the. Oh, can't focus. Can't. Whatever. It works the exact same as that other one, the Studio Liquid Liner. It looks the exact same. But I still love it. And I think it's really, really good. So. The little applicator just looks really skinny and it's really easy to use. And then I'm going to use my favourite current mascara which is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express. And I'm like already running out of it because I use it every day and I use lots of it. I use like three coats of it. Still good. Oh. That was dead. <laughs> and then I don't know if I want to have um colour down there anyway. To my eyebrows. Lately I've been using Naked from the Naked palette for my eyebrows. Love it. Been getting so many compliments on my eyebrows lately and this is the colour I've been wearing. Thanks, by the way. I haven't been, heaps of people ask if I lighten them and I haven't. I've just been doing this. Your, your guys' favourite YouTube gurus been lately? You should write some below. I'm looking for new people to watch. Alright. That's my eyebrows done. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my e.l.f. crap. Fun. So this is my makeup of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shall I do a little zoom up of my eyeshadow? 
that's what it looks like. Just really neutral purple lips. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a really good day and stay tuned to my next video. Subscribe if you haven't already, it's free. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.